I'm not scared of being what you want. Oh, not this song. Oh, I know, right? It's so annoying. I hate this song. Well, it's a natural human desire to want to fit in. I mean, people long for companionship and to feel like they belong. But one of the problems that occurs because of this is, well, sometimes we feel like we have to conform to be accepted. We sometimes put on emotional masks to hide who we really are. This is a terrible problem, but it happens all the time. So much so that many people have worked very hard to combat this type of thinking. I'm sure you've heard phrases like this before. Be true to yourself. Take me as I am. Don't conform. Be who you are. These simple yet profound phrases have major implications. They could be good or very bad. Now, before we apply them, as Christians, it is our responsibility to examine them to see if there's a biblical foundation for them. Be who you are. You were made in God's image. Your individuality shows God's creativity and your uniqueness. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. You're God's masterpiece. That's what you are. But who are you? What's your identity? If you're going to say, be true to yourself, then you have to know who exactly you are. The Bible tells us about two major spiritual identities, the just and the unjust. God tells us that we were all once sinners, separate from God, unjust and deserving of hell. That's what our identity was. But as Christians, we have been justified through faith in Christ and now have peace with God. So who are you? Are you condemned or are you forgiven? And once you know that, then yes, you should be true to yourself. As a forgiven person, you should act like it. You should be thankful and joyful. <laughs> yeah, puppy. As a condemned person, you have two choices. You can either humble yourself down before the cross and trust in Christ for salvation like I have, or you can act like the condemned person that you are. It's your choice. So you should be who you are, but thanks to the grace of God, who you are is simply who you choose to be. Take me as I am. This is a title of a well-known Christian hymn. But is the idea biblical? Well, I'd have to say yes. In fact, Romans 5.8 says, While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. It's not that we deserve salvation, but we are accepted by God in grace because of the payment of His Son. However, although we are given grace as sinners, God doesn't allow us to remain in that fallen state. At the very moment of faith, God begins to work in us. We are justified before God, forgiven of our trespasses, and spiritually regenerated. His Holy Spirit then lives inside of us, and we're called the children of God. You see, God does take us as we are. But then He changes us, and calls us to be better than we ever could have been on our own. Don't conform! Okay, good. You are a wonderfully unique individual, and you do not need to conform to people's peer pressures. But did you know that the problem is not in conforming, but it's what you're conforming to? Romans 12.2 says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Now notice it doesn't just say, do not, but emphasizes be, be transformed. As Romans 8.29 says, it's God's plan for us to be conformed to the image of His Son. As Christians, our spiritual identity has changed from unjust to just, but we still have sin nature in this life. That's why God tells us to be conformed to His Son, because it's our choice whether or not to put away the flesh, which is our sin nature. So why would we want to conform to Christ? Well, aside from it saving us some of the natural consequences of sin, we do it for the same reason God gave us grace in the first place. We do it out of love. We do it out of love and gratitude for our Savior. And in light of what Christ did for us on the cross, Paul only considers this a reasonable service. There's definitely a danger in misapplying the statements like we've looked at, because oftentimes people's excuses for remaining in sin boil down to, I am who I am, and I am not willing to change. This is who I am, a uniquely created, justified servant of Christ. Because of shit.